So um, this is question number five on page 129. Now, one thing again in our notes that we talked about last class period is when you guys have two inscribed angles. Remember when we talked about inscribed angle, if I said this was 33 degrees, we said that the arc measure was double that, which would have been 66 degrees. So what was important about that, and I'm going to have to move something around here if we can't figure that out. So remember, if we have another inscribed angle, but with the same endpoints, what we understood it, well, they both have the same endpoints. They both have the same arc. So therefore, that has to be 33 as well. So when we look at this, what I notice is here are two angles, right? Here are two inscribed angles. Notice that these two inscribed angles share the same arc. So therefore, just like this example, where these two angles share the same arc, these two angles share the same arc. Kaylee? Kaylee? So therefore, we can say that they are now equal in measurement. So 5x plus 9 is equal to 6x. Now, all I simply need to do, put it face down, please. Now, all I simply need to do is solve for x. So I subtract 5x on both sides, and I have 9 equals x. Now, to solve for y, we look at these two y's, and we notice that these two y's also have an arc that they share. So therefore, we can set them equal to each other. So I say 6y minus 1 equals 3y plus 8. Now, again, I solve for y. I subtract 3y on both sides. So I have 3y minus 1 equals 8. Add 1, 3, 3y three equals 9. Divide by 3, divide by 3, y equals 3. Okay. So that is going off of the basic notes that when you have two inscribed angles that share the same arc, they're equal.